母さん。母さん。Hit the viewers at home with that angry face. Hi, guys. What's going on? It's up. Coming to you from massivejoes.com! You reckon we've got to change the intro? I'm going to change it. You reckon? So we can break it down. Maybe we need to go like, like, a, like a love ballad or something. Well, the guys are bringing, out some, nice pretty, the guys are bringing out some cool videos now with some cool um, uh, sounds. I think we just need a beat. Bring it forward. Some like some some like uh, some some uh, some. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. What anyway, you, what do you listen to, you cool kids? Post Maloney. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here with a massive Joe's general manager, Big Neve. Hello. AKA, we're gonna throw. I think we're gonna throw. John at least Cena. Go, John Cena. Because John Cena. That's, that's the one I aim for. John Cena V2. Here with another edition of a Sup Wars for the viewers at home. We're back again. Especially when I'm running the military-inspired crew cut. You are, actually. It's very short on top. Like John Cena. Anyway, this sup was comparing two new pre-workouts. Big Neve. So we've got BPN Flight. Oh, uh, by Bear Performance. Uh, what's it called? Bear Performance Bear, Nutrition. Nutrition. Nick yeah. Bear's company. I was up to... against... I thought of the F in performance and thought of F, BFN. This, this probably needs, it needs no introduction. Yeah. Ghost. Legend. This sub pause, we're going five rounds, big knee. Uh, yeah, we're going ingredients, a nutritional breakdown. Yep. Flavors and taste, yep. effects, value for money, versatility. Versatility is in stackability and, 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 and time of day when you can use it and just, just overall versatility. Yep. I'm excited for this sub pause. Actually, I, I don't know which way this one's going to go. I haven't given it much thought because I like to be surprised myself when we're shooting the video. All right, you and go I'm really first. Not too sure. you're, you're up first. Round one. Ingredients and nutritional breakdown, Dilip. Go ahead and throw up the uh, panel for Ghost Legend on the screen, viewers at home. And for those of you playing along at home, this is the international version of Ghost Legend, which varies just ever so slightly from the US version. Starting from the top, we've got L-citrulline, full clinical dose for muscle pumps. Beta-alanine, about half clinical dose for muscular endurance. We've got agmatine sulfate, about half clinical dose to inhibit the enzyme that breaks down the nitric oxide, which is being elevated by the L-citrulline. We then have a full clinical dose of norvaline, 100 milligrams. That's going to prevent uh, the arginine being broken down. So you've got a nice little pump and endurance blend in there. Then we move on, we've got a full one gram of taurine that's gonna work well with the beta alanine for enhanced muscular endurance. Also gonna work quite well with the two types of caffeine we got here, 200 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous and 50 milligrams of dicaffeine malate. In addition to the caffeine, from a stimulant perspective, we've got ourselves 50 milligrams of a bitter orange extract, which is yielding synephrine. We've got some theobromine in there. We've got some uh, olive leaf extract, and we've got some NADH in a 2.5 milligram dose, which is, of course, a B vitamin. Big Neve! What's the main difference between uh, norvaline and L-norvaline? It's the same. Is it the same? Yeah. So L stands for Levo. So some, some companies will, will list it as L. It's like citrulline and L-citrulline mm. or arginine and L-arginine. Some companies, I mean, technically it should be listed as L, mm. but, you know, it's kind of like it's, it's, uh, it's acceptable to list it without the L. Finished? Yeah, that was, that's my rundown of Ghost Legend. Mm -hmm. Straight to the point, mate. Not here to f*** fighters. All right. Hit so, me with your best shot. So Flyat has got uh, 250 milligrams of vitamin C. Not right. a great start. <laughs> I'm just going, I'm going from top to bottom. 3.2 grams of beta alanine, yeah, full okay. clinical dose, yeah, which is good. more than your two grams. You do. You, you crush my beta alanine. I'll, I'll accept that right. 2.5 grams of betaine, protein synthesis, which is a... Which is a, yeah, it's, uh, a it's a cool ingredient. Which is a uh, clinical dose. I, I don't have anything for muscle... Uh, for, well, I don't have anything at all for muscle power, really. And acetylotyrosine, one and a half grams. Caffeine, uh, agmatine, one gram, which is a lot more than your 500 milligrams. Twice the dose if you're uh, looking. Caffeine, hydrous, 300 milligrams, which is pretty much spot on, which is your, what you like, your sweet spot. Yeah. 200 milligrams of L norvaline, which is twice the amount of norvaline in Ghost Legend. And hyperzine A for your uh, cognitive function and uh, mood, etc., which has got 200 micrograms. Triple f 
It kills it on paper. What do you got for muscle pump though? Only the one gram of agmatine. Yeah. But that'll come back later in versatility. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like you, the, you definitely, you've definitely the the amount of f**ks that I gave uh, when you were reading the panel out were, were were kind of indicative of the the probably the main thing is is something there for uh, it would have been good to see some glycerol in there, mm. I believe, mm. some cell volumizing or some see. Some I I feel I feel like Ghost Legend probably like I probably got you on muscle pump. Really, because you just got agmatine. I got citrulline, agmatine, and norvaline. So I feel like I've got you there. Well, I've got norvaline too. But then you and you don't but, have a full clinical dose of citrulline either. Yeah, yeah, You've I got know. four grams. I no, know. that is for citrulline, four grams. That Most people are putting six grams in now. No, though. that's citrulline malate. You're getting yeah. confused. Well, still f- underdosed. So I reckon, I reckon I've probably got you in muscle pump, but I, I think flight's probably, probably got legend in everything else. Mm. So. I'm going to have to concede. Mm-hmm. Round one goes to BPN Flight. It's 1-0 zero or 0-1 zero technically. Mm-hmm. Ghost Legend uh, one point behind BPN Flight as we lead into round two, flavours and taste. So Flight comes in three flavours. Yep. A blue raspberry, orange and pina colada. How do they taste? I like pina colada. Mm. Not a fan of blue raspberry because mm. I don't like blue raspberry. Mm-hmm. Orange is, I don't really know I'd go on an orange. Ghost legend. Ghost, uh, like, man, if you've tried ghost products before, you know that flavoring is one of their specialties. Ghost legend comes in three permanent flavors. Those are red berry, lemon lime, and sour watermelon warheads. And then also comes in some, some exclusive flavors, the, the Christian Guzman blue lime and the Max Tuning mango margarita. Mm. And they're all f***ing delicious, mate. They Even f- the lemon lime, and I don't, I don't, I don't f- with citrus, but the lemon lime is good too. The flavors are better in Legend. Yeah, I think it's a no-brainer on this one. I, I like lemon lime, though. I'm a big fan of lemon lime. Round two goes to Ghost Legend. It's one one. We're tied, leading into round three. Big Nevos uh, effects. Possibly the most important round. We should pop. We should probably wait this round. Like two to two to every other round. Yeah, it could work. It's but then, the, but then it would f- up the, the would, five We'd rounds. be all kinds of. F- That's why we don't wait it. I mean, as you, as you can see from uh, probably as you can guess by the uh, nutritional panel, yeah, is I just don't get the pumps I like from Flight. No, the pumps are pathetic. Which is probably the only downfall I personally find. Yeah. Everything else is, is like terrific, including y- your focus and energy. Yeah. Um, your beta, or like your endurance through your beta alanine. Yeah. Um, I mean, ma- mainly the focus is the main thing that I notice from flight. It's a very, it's a very well-rounded pre-workout mm. in terms of the effects. Apart from, I think, like you said, the one thing that it does miss is pump. But it's like it ticks the box for muscle power. It ticks the box for muscular endurance. The energy is really good. The focus is really good. It really ticks four of the five boxes. Funnily enough, though, it doesn't have any. Uh, neither uh, uh, pre's have any creatine in them. No, both creatine pre. Yeah, which we failed to mention in. No, but, panel, but that's but, fine because. But, uh, Routine and pre-workout, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So I mean, in terms of effects, yeah. if you're looking for something that's just going to dial you in and give you that yeah. awesome mental focus yeah. and that endurance, yeah. then I think that yeah, flight is what you're looking for. See, I think I think if we if we hold Ghost Legend to the same set of variables, I would say the pumps are pretty damn good. Mm. Like pumps is probably one thing that this that this pre-workout you know excels and, and beats most pre-workouts at with is with the pumps. Uh, muscle power is non-existent. Yeah. Uh, muscular endurance is pretty good, but you can definitely notice that, like, you know, you need a little bit more beta alanine in there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Energy is is good, but once again, like, you know, like when I train on it, I go one and a half scoops because one scoop just doesn't get it done. To me, when you see ghosts and, and you get... And the then g- mental focus is there. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, the thing is, is when you get ghosts and you look at the brand ghosts, it's a cool yeah. brand. It's very cool. It's a cool brand, Very but cool. The, th- the thing is, is, is when I want that to me, and the marketing behind Ghost, yeah, it should be a f-ing hard hitting pre workout. You reckon? I reckon it should be. And you think it falls down? I think it falls that, short in, in a hard hitting pre workout. Yeah, yeah. As you said, it's good for good for your pumps. Yeah, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah. But in terms of like, I was expecting like a sort of like a remember the old Total War or the old Kraken? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, like you ban OGs. ingredients now. Yeah, yeah. But when you see a product like Ghost Legend, that's the kind of effects I wanted to get. You're kind of comparing it to yourself, really. Yeah. Because you're a bit of a legend. Yeah. Just don't quite hit that hard. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what, are we, what are we doing here, round three? 
In terms of a, like, if, if you're going one or the other, I'm going to go flight because it's going to dial me in for my yeah. workout. I think I think in terms of like completeness of pre workout, you, you can't really <coughs> argue against flight mm. in in this respect. Yeah. Round three goes to flight. It's one to two. Leading into round four, Flight got the slight lead on Ghost Legend. Round four is, of course, value for money. Ghost Legend in the Australian marketplace, you are looking at $69.95 for 30 serves. Exactly the same for BPN. Isn't it? It is. Mm. Don't, round don't four. Look at me. You're fucking making me second guess myself here, mate. Don't second guess yourself. <laughs> You're a legend, mate. <laughs> round four is a tie. It's 1.5 to 2.5 BPM flight with a lead but leading I'm, into but round four. I'm a little worried because you said that you, ah. you yourself have yeah. a one and a half scoop it. I do, but that doesn't really. That's more of an effects thing than a value mm, for money true, thing. But like value for value for home. value for money, we have to go price per serve, and they're exactly the same. But if you're Joseph, and you want effects, so just, stop trying to f nail nail the coffin close, mate. If you're Joseph, you're going to be value for money. You've only got to use one scoop of this if your name is Joseph Mansell. If yeah. you're this, you're only getting twenty serves of a tub. I've you called a tie already, people. mate. Don't push it. I'm Round five! I should, be, I should be thinking it should be 0.75 to 0.25. <laughs> That's what split it, split it yeah. in quarters. Mm. Versatility. Big Neve. This is your chance to win it or draw it, mate. I mean, versatility for stacking with, uh, let's start off this way. Versatility. Yeah. Yep. For someone who is uh, looking for that, that energy hit yep. and that focus. Yeah. So someone that isn't looking for a big pump, like you, like we spoke about last time, is, yeah. is your CrossFitters and those kind of athletes yeah. that aren't looking for like a muscle pump mm -hmm. as such. Mm -hmm. They're just looking for that, like your power lifters, those kind of people. I mean, if you probably if you're in those kind of events, you probably do want some creatine in there. As you said, you can, um, yeah, uh, add that in yourself. But the thing is, is uh, something like flight is you can stack it with a lot of things because and stack it perfectly with the endo pump, um, which is their with the, their pump formula because it does only have your one gram agmatine. What about, what about the fact that it's so like high in like stimulants and mental focus ingredients? Like if you're training at night. The issue is, is you can't train on it late at night. Like no. if, it's, if, it's, if it's seven, if it's pushing eight or nine o'clock, which is sometimes the time we train, yeah. I'm probably not gonna go flight. I'm probably gonna do something more like your ghost legend. And that's, ex that's exactly my point is I think Really, like, firstly, the fact that Legend only has half a gram of Agmatine mm. means you can pretty much stack it with every pump formula mm. and not have to worry about having too much Agmatine. Mm. Where that is something you have to you have to worry about with flight because you've got a full gram. Mm. So if you're stacking it with another pump that's got a full gram, mm. you know you could be rushing to the toilet yeah. and shitting through the Arvin needle. Funnily enough, what do you think though about the endo pump having 500 milligrams of agmatine added in? We're not well? talking about endo pump, mate. No, but I'm just saying. What, no, flight. but we're saying versatility about stacking it together. No, I just, I'm, I'm saying, saying versatility off, in general. But I'm just saying off the record. Well, are you going to talk about ghost pump then as well? No, you're Have not. You, did you come prepared? No, I haven't come prepared. Well, there you go. Maybe I should get a point for that. <laughs> <laughs> Round six preparedness. <laughs> I, look, man. I I, if it's, if I it's, think I think. I think you make a good point about the lack of pumps in flight makes it more versatile for different sports and different applications. But I think overall, Ghost is more versatile because of the lower amount of Agmatine and because of the lower stimulant effect as well. I just think that you can, if you want to train on it first thing in the morning, you can. If you want to train on it last thing at night, you can. You know, I think in terms of like time of day, and stackability, I think it's more versatile. I think in terms of applications to different sports, I think flight's probably more versatile. So you're saying it's a weak pre-workout, so therefore it's <coughs> more worth versatile. Well, that's got to do with effects, and you already won effects, so stop trying to go back, mate. All right, we'll sum this put up. Put an argument forward for versatility. All right, Adil, can you just put a disclaimer down the bottom? Yep. If you sit down to piss, use Ghost Legend. <laughs> 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 Come on, mate. <laughs> I enjoy sitting down pissing me out again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? All right, I can see what you're saying though. Especially if it's after leg day, right? <laughs> if it's if it's late at night, you're not going to use flight. No, you're not. So how are we going to how are we going to finish this round five? I don't think there's a clear winner either direction. I think they both have their benefits depending on what you're wanting. Um, yeah, 
the, 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 the thing with flight is I would, you're better off, I think, I think it's more versatile to use with your favorite pump product mm. if we're looking at stackability. Yeah. I think it's more versatile to be able to stack with your favorite pump product because it does it is lacking some of those pump products. Yeah. Um, apart from the Agmatine. Yeah, apart from the Agmatine, mm -hmm. uh, which you just have to be careful with how much Agmatine you're getting in. Yep. But then, yeah, not having pump in there is good for your CrossFit, it's good for your powerlifters. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, it's probably better <sighs> off in some of those sports, whereas the, the letdown is because of that higher caffeine content and the, and the hypozine, et cetera. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I, et cetera, I, think, be, I, think, I think it has to be a time, man. I really think that round five, I don't think there's a clear winner in versatility here. Mm. I think it, it depends on how you're looking at versatility and because of that, round five is a tie, which means this sup wars has been won. No, the other way. Hold yours up hard. <laughs> has been won. Three to two. I'm not used to winning one, so I don't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, I know. BPN Flight defeats Ghost Legend with a couple of tie breaks. Big Neve. Pause for screenshot, if you may. That was a good sub pause. That was, that was good. What was the end scores? Three to two. Ooh. Flight wins with two tie breaks in there. Two drawed rounds. So there you That's go. That's a good sub pause. The thing is, once again, is depending on what your use or what your use of the pre-workout is. And, but that it always, it's always gonna come down to that with pre-workouts, man. It's mm. always gonna come down to it. It's always a personal preference. It's do you want, you know, a more complete pre-workout that possibly has, is gonna tick more of the boxes when it comes to effects that doesn't taste that great. Mm. I mean, you go for flight. If you want, you know, a pre-workout that, has a great, you know, spread of ingredients in there, possibly not as complete, that's gonna get you better muscle pumps for sure. Tastes f***ing amazing, you're gonna look forward to drinking it every single workout, and they're both about as versatile as each other, then you go for Ghost Legend. I mean, that, that Always I comes down to personal preference. I mean, that is workouts. like me, me personally. I like training on both, to be honest. I just have to go one and a half scoops of Legend. But the thing with me with Legend is, is yeah. I prefer probably training on Legend. Yeah. Because I don't need as much caffeine. Yeah. Because of my daily content, uh, caffeine content, and yeah. I prefer muscle pumps. I like the I like the pump in the fit in the gym. So, depends on what you're after. I think put Ken Olas Dos. Why not have a tub of each? Oh, a scoop yeah, of each. Do your right? own. Do your own. Do your own. Just put, just put, a, no, just put a scoop of each in, or half a scoop of each. Let in. us know in the comments what your personal sub wars uh, ends up as. Yeah. Big Neve. Do you have anything else you'd like to add before I keep mumbling my words and tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button? Let us know what you want to see next episode. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn your post notifications on. Hit the f***ing bell on both your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until next time, where we coming to and from, Neve. MassiveJoe's.com. Stay Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.